right, it is that time, Sex and in the City. Yes. So Natalie, uh, we're starting with um, some new fashion trends for fall. That's right. Th but you can actually start them now. That's in, right. In hair and makeup. That's right. 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 Okay. We're, we're kind of looking at, of course, we're a new season coming. There's all these great new trends to try out. So often, though, people are sort of put off by the word trend, and they okay. think it's kind of scary. So what I thought I would do is sort of take classic looks that yes. any woman can do with an updated twist on them. Sounds fabulous. Okay, great. So we're going to start off with the smoky eye. So the smoky eye is not a new trend, um, but now we're seeing it done with charcoals and jewel tones, uh, especially purples. They're going to be really, really big for fall. You can start wearing them now, and you kind of want to mix different formulas. So you can mix your matte shadows with your shimmery shadows, and it's definitely a great evening look. Um, we're also seeing graphic eyeliner this season, so liquid eyeliner. So you can really play up your eyes and sort of do that cat eye as well. And then two coats of mascara, top and bottom, and for a really special night out, you might want to add false eyelashes as well. Okay, okay. sounds good. Okay, and then next we're going to go to the matte red lips. So Every woman should have a go-to red lipstick in her makeup bag. It's life-changing, I'm telling you, okay? <laughs> and everyone can wear it, right? Every woman can wear Just it. It's a different shade. That's right. And you always want to opt for sort of a blue-based red, okay? Because orangey reds, um, they can make your skin look kind of red, and they can make your teeth look yellow. So a blue-based red is going to make your teeth look whiter as well. And a matte finish is really big this season. So it's still glamorous, and it looks fabulous. You'll want to make sure that your lips are moisturized, so maybe a bit of lip balm before you put on your matte lipstick. And and keep the rest of your makeup simple. So it's actually a really easy look to do as well. And then next we're gonna go um, and look at hair. So this is a really fun way to change up your everyday hairstyle without committing to a new haircut. So it's a dramatic side part. So you can part left or right, whatever you like. Mm -hmm. um, it always looks great actually if you part right above the arch of your eyebrow. That's a great way to kind of gauge how far to, to part your hair. And this works on a variety of different hair lengths. So shorter hair, medium length, longer hair. And you can wear it down and swept to the side or like we're seeing on Beyonce, sort of that more slick and sleek pulled back into a low ponytail. I, I love this look. I think we'll see some of that during uh, the um, oh, award season. Yeah, award season. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. yeah, we're really gonna see this look for okay. sure. And then back to makeup. Um, we're seeing hot pink lips. So a lot of people think that uh, these sort of bright tones are only wearable in the summer, but we are going to see them going into the fall and winter. And it's a nice way to add a little bit of color right into your look. Great, you know my that, favorite. <laughs> absolutely. Because we tend to wear more of the black and gray and sort of neutrals in the fall and winter. So it is that great way to inject some color. And really, you can opt for whatever formula you like. If you like lipstick, go for a pink lipstick. If you want something softer, a glossy texture is really nice too. And this looks great with that smoky eye that I was talking about yeah, as well. It, sure. it pairs up really nicely. And then next um, we have peach blush. So peach is a really universally flattering color on all skin tones and it, a peach blush works for every age as well. Um, you don't want to go with anything too sparkly um, but a little bit of shimmer is nice and it'll really brighten up your skin and you don't have to wear a bronzer when you're wearing a peach blush. So it is kind of if you want to pare down your makeup routine in the morning it's a great thing to have in your makeup bag. Um, you're going to apply it to the apples of your cheeks and blend it right up to the temples. I love this look. This is one of my one of my go-tos. You know I'm a blush girl. <laughs> yes, you know. I do. I do know that. <laughs> Absolutely. I do. And you have all of these uh, different uh, makeups. You actually brought in one of those liquid eyeliners today. That's right. You just got those in, I right? just got them in, yeah. So it's a it's a liquid eyeliner, and I have them in a charcoal, a black, and a dark brown, and it's just a little felt tip, uh, felt tip pen. So really easy to apply, really user-friendly. Yes, we like that. Absolutely. Okay, sounds good. Thank you, <laughs> Thanks, Natalie. Kate. We'll take a short break. Eric's back with some sports right after this. America Age coming up. The Hamilton Tiger Cats are currently watching the Alouettes take on the Green Riders in Regina, hoping that they can maintain second place in the East. We'll give you an update in sports.